Hello, I'm Christopher Cutts. I'm at the Christopher Cutts Gallery, and this is a new installation by gallery artist Michel Goulet. The title of the show is uh, Delicacy, and as you can see, uh, it's a, a joyful exhibition. We see these series of balloons, and uh, let me tell you a little bit about how these balloons were created. Um, they are actual balloons, so initially what uh, Mr. Goulet did is he blew the balloons to about double the size that you see them now, and for two days he left them, and then he deflated them, and so of course you have a little bit of a saggy balloon, and then he took four ounces of an AB urethane epoxy resin solution, and he poured it into this flaccid balloon, and then filled it up immediately to the size you see, and then tied it off there. And now he's got this solution inside the balloon, and he had carefully moved the balloon for about two minutes, coating the inside of the balloon until the urethane set. And then when it set, if it set correctly and it was evenly, he put it aside, and then it would do another one. And then after he assembled enough balloons for the installation, and by the way, there's 64 balloons in this installation, and Michelle said it took about 500 balloons to make the 64, so he's not the balloon guy, he won't be making these again. And, but once the balloon had set, he sent it to a body shop, and it had a coat of varnish. And then from the body shop, it went to get the words cut into them, and you can see there's a number of years, image, air, illustration, secret, cut into the balloon, and so that was laser cut into the balloons. And by the way, that's very difficult. He has a specific guy that does his work because you only have about that much room to move with the laser cutter. So once you do one letter, you gotta carefully move the balloon so it's just in the right order to put the other one in. So he's got the right guy to do the job. Once the, um, the letter, uh, the word has been cut into the, uh, the balloon, there's also a series of balloons that have just these little abstract signs. You'll see them over here little abstract generation. Goulet was known as an abstract sculptor, and uh, so uh, there's sort of paying homage to that element. Um, another interesting thing about the choice of words, uh, uh, Goulet's from Montreal, he's a francophone, but he purposefully chose words that are both in English and French, spelt the same way, and of course have the same meaning, of course they're pronounced differently. Um, I find it interesting that the words are all very pro provocative words, kind of to provoke us into things like illusion or secret, illustration, exception, all very provocative words, image, air. Okay, um, okay once all of that's done, the, the, the words and the abstract designs have been cut into the balloons, then they're back to the body shop for two coats of paint, which would be the same color of the balloon, so if this is a yellow balloon, two more coats of a yellow match the, the, the balloon, and then two more coats of varnish. And then from there, they went back to Mr. Goulet, where he uh, put a little hanging device in the rear end of the, the balloon. Of course, there was a hole drilled into the balloon because that was needed for them to be painted at the body shop, and then they're installed, as you say. And I said, th this overall installation is 64, and uh, that's one of three installations we're going to take a look at that are new. Um, all of this work was done over the last year. Of course, uh, as we're all well aware, this has been uh, a year that's been lost, COVID year, and the work has some relationship to that. For example, the choice of the title, uh, um, Delicacy. It, of course, that refers to something that's fragile. And of course, these are balloons, and they are fragile. But they're joyful as well. So this is sort of a celebratory. Hopefully, we're at the end of this uh, pandemic. And Goulet has done this wonderful, beautiful, playful, fun, um, and delicate work. OK, we're going to move from this installation to another one over here, which uh, also relates to uh, uh, the happenings of the last uh, year. Okay, we're now looking at a, another installation called Two Meter Distancing Pole, and that is because each one of these poles are roughly two meters in distance, not exactly, and there happens to be a hundred of them. Um, let me tell you how they were created. 
all of them are basically found objects. So uh, most of it was found on the side of the street. So Michelle would be driving down, uh, in, I don't know, the streets in, in Montreal and he'd see a chair or a table put out at the side, maybe to be carted away for garbage. And he would grab it and he would utilize those elements. So he utilizes the legs, of course, for arms and tables, or he might see a dowel or even a branch, a piece of wood or something like that. Now, why two meters? Well, we're all supposed to stay two meters apart. Uh, why not exactly? Well, because we're not all sure exactly if we're staying two meters apart. Sometimes we're a little bit more, sometimes we're a little less. So you see that element. So once Michel had gathered all the components, he literally assembled them. So he would literally screw them in, you know, make them, like I said, just roughly two meter distance apart. And then he would shrink wrap them. So this is shrink wrap. He would augment it. Once the shrink wrap, he'd put a little color in there. Of course, those are just aesthetic things. And then once again, the laser cuts with the bilingual words. What I mean by bilingual is both in English and French, same meaning, same spelling, of course, a different pronunciation. And uh, there happens to be a hundred of them. I asked him why a hundred. Well, he wanted a quorum or so, a goodly number. So a hundred is. And, and so you can see them running down there. Of course, they have a wonderful aesthetic quality about them. But uh, once you know a little bit about the idea, I just, it just opens it up a little bit more. Okay. Okay, now we're in uh, front of one of Michelle's Lego based pieces. Uh, the title of this piece is called From the Center. And if you actually look at it closely, you'll notice that there's all these polychromatic shapes, uh, little architectural ones. And then there's ones that are solid color. So you see F R O M, that actually spells the word from, and then the abstract, and then T H E, the, and then more abstract things. And then you get over here. C-E-N-T-E-R, center, from the center. So that's the title of the piece. Uh, Michel's done many sort of archetypical circular pieces. I've seen that in his practice all the time. And the use of Lego has been some, uh, uh, at play with his practice for uh, so on. Of course, the, it also plays into this certain, uh, the overall theme of the exhibition being uh, uh, delicate. These are delicate pieces and uh, they're assembled in, uh, in a certain way and uh, they're uh, ephemeral works as well. There's also 60 of them, so it really represents you know, the minutes in a, an hour clock as well.